Tyler Royke. Welcome to my channel. Today we're here with my 2008 Corvette C6 V06 and I'm going to review the car with you right here starting with the exterior. Before we get started with the video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button so that I may include you on my car journey in the future. So I don't know about you, but I'm head over heels in love with the Jetstream Blue C6 V06. I'll never forget the first time I saw one of these cars and I'm so glad I get to see one of these cars every single day now. And I'm going to point out some of the features on the exterior that are really special for the Z06. Uh, first off, I mean you probably already know this, but in case you didn't, the C6 V06 has a distinct uh, front air grill, if you will, up there. I'm not really sure what to call it. If you know, leave me a comment below. But there's a big distinction in the front of the car that instantly makes the Z06 stand out. And uh, it's actually got the same body uh, dimensions as the Grand Sport. But there are some distinctions too from the Grand Sport as well. Uh, coming up on the side here, for one, you'll notice the fenders are wider here. And that goes for the C6, Z06, Grand Sport, and the ZR1. But of course, we're talking about the ZR1. So what's neat is underneath this gorgeous blue paint, you've actually got a carbon fiber body panel. And that goes for both fenders. And then also the floorboard though, underneath the car, you would never know because you don't see the weave, but those components are carbon fiber. And coming along to the side here, you'll notice that you have the grills on the fenders that go with the width of the car. Since the car is wider, you have room for these uh, grills on the side. So you have the front one right here and then the rear one here that stick out on the car. And coming along back to the rear, you have the wider fenders in the rear and you especially will notice this if you are ever in traffic behind one of these or if you're just you know, really observing closely compared to your standard C6 Corvette. This is a significantly wider car, just visually. Um, if you look at it on paper, it's hard to appreciate the difference, but you really notice it when you're looking at these cars in person. And the rounding off, you've got 325 millimeter tires, which is a good width uh, for the power it has. 505 horsepower, these tires put down the power well, as long as they're warmed up, if they're cold, um, you can definitely spin in second gear, 60, 70 miles an hour. So you just gotta know, you know, whether your tires are warm or not, and uh, you know, learn to what know what to expect when you're putting your pedal to the metal with it. And I will say this: I am sweating right now. It's hot in Texas. Um, if you live here, I'm sure you understand. If you don't, uh, I don't know if you do or not. But um, another thing I'd say: the reason the car is running right now is I had to jump start it. Um, I hadn't driven it a couple weeks. It didn't want to start for me, so I do not want to kill it right now and get stranded in the skid community where I'm going to be a couple mile walk home and I'm not ready to do another one of those today, at least not yet. Um, you know, last thing I'd say on this one in particular, mine in particular, they don't all have this option, but this is a GM option. Mine actually has this wing. A lot of them just have, uh, I guess, no wing is what I'd call it kind of more like a black little uh, I don't even know if it's a wing but it, it's a different tail light setup because there's actually a tail light on this this has the full wing that goes across and that's just mine and you'll probably notice that mine has some chrome options as well uh, everything from the wheels to the inserts of the vents that you just saw those actually have chrome GM inserts um, but that's the exterior of this car bottom line is I just love the width I love the color and I'm about to show you why else I love it because I'm going to take out a spin with you so that you can see more of what the performance is like. So let's hop in. So that was the aesthetics and quite frankly, I'm going to stick to the key elements that really stood out to me about the car. And uh, quite frankly, the interior wasn't really high on that list. Everything I covered on the exterior was. Um, interior, not so much so. It's not a bad looking interior, but if you're comparing it to the C7 or, you know, newer cars, I mean, it's just, it, there's not really much to talk about, just being honest. Um, I mean, the finishes are presentable. Uh, everything's within reach of where it needs to be as a driver. And, um, you know, primarily the coolest thing, um, besides my upgraded sound system and the fact that I can use my Bluetooth with it is, uh, 
that I have a heads up display on the dash and I believe this was the first uh, generation of Corvette that had that. So, you know, mine being a 2LZ has that option, which means uh, you guys can't see it on the screen now, but there's a digital screen right in front of me on the windshield here and it's pretty neat. Um, but that aside though, the experience is what I really want to get at and drive home with because to me that's the number one reason to buy this car unless you just want to stare at it in your garage and I know there's some people that do because it's that good looking but the experience is amazing as well. And a big part of the reason is because when you put your foot down this car goes and when you want to drive it casually I mean you can do so um, this car isn't really egging you on to go super fast unless you start putting your foot down uh, and the more you put your foot down the more it wants to go and with 505 horsepower it's got some serious get up and go um, you know it, it's also got plenty of torque as well with 460 pound-feet and um, you know stock right out of the box this is an amazing performing car especially for the price point which you can pick up a C6 Z06 um, anywhere from the high 20s, believe it or not, if you're going for a higher mileage car, uh, all the way into the high 30s for a fairly low mileage car, but that's the spectrum. And for the performance you get, um, it's pretty incredible. My car came in in 2008 with an MSRP on the window sticker of right under 80,000. It's uh, 79 something. But, you know, being that this car is, is less than half the new car value, and I mean, at least with mine, right now I've got 48,000 miles. Uh, it's got plenty of life left in it, I like to think at least, uh, based on the mileage. And so um, I've, seen, I've seen guys take these up all the way to darn near a quarter million miles. So there's some pretty high mileage examples out there. I know a lot of Corvette drivers do not drive that much. Um, myself included. I'm aspiring to drive more though uh, and to put more mileage on this car in the time ahead so I'm hoping to share more with you all on here with it. If you have any video ideas I'd love to hear them. If you're looking at the Corvette Spectrum, you might be thinking, well, what Corvette do I want? Well, I got a Z06 because it's what I always wanted and I felt for the value at the time, it made the most sense. Uh, and this was in a time where I really don't recall what C6ZR1s were going for. I'm pretty sure it was well into the 60s, if not 70s. This was back three years ago. So uh, that wasn't even on the list for me because that was over twice the price. Um, Grand Sport, I just, honestly, I didn't really have the same level of interest. I understand why people get them, and I think it's a great option. Uh, it just, I, I wanted the seven liter engine that this has, which, you know, the other Corvettes and the C6 Spectrum don't have the seven liter 427 cubic inch in, engine, so that was a big appeal. And like I said, I fell in love when I saw this car for the first time when it, I believe it was late 2007 that I saw one for the first time and it was gorgeous. And I, I just knew that if I got a C6 Z06, this would be the one to get. And um, the C6 Z06 was the right car for me too because I just, uh, the base model Corvette didn't appeal to me. I think it's great that you can get one. Uh, it's pretty incredible how cheap you can get a base C6 actually depending on you know what your criteria is, mileage and condition and whatnot. But they'll get pretty down. Um, you know, on the price spectrum, I'm talking into the teens. Um, and, um, you know, that's certainly a great option because it's a Corvette, right? It's a Corvette. But all I know is that, you know, I feel like for the value, if you want to be at the 30000 ish dollar price mark, I really think this is, this is your best bet. Uh, if you want to be a little more conservative, maybe not as much power, a little less get up and go, but, you know, very good handling capabilities. Go for a Grand Sport. I mean, it's a similar price to this for the most part. So personally, I would opt for the you know bigger engine and more power. And uh, you know, the downside is there are some 
you know, notorious issues that Corvette owners have with the LS7 engine that this has, the 7 liter V8, which is the valve guides, um, you know, the factory didn't do the best job in their quality control with them apparently, so there's a number of cars that end up uh, having an issue with that. Uh, worst case scenario, the engine goes, uh, and it's, it's happened enough times where it's a big concern within the Corvette community. Um, you get you can get Grand Sport or a base model, you're probably not going to have the same concern, so I, I, I get if that's a factor, it is an expense to have that done, to have the peace of mind, but um, all that aside though, just this, I, I really feel like if you're looking at any car for what you get for, you know, it's not brand new, but for how new it is, for the performance you get, for the drivability, and for the value, I don't really see anything that tops this. Um, at least not out of the box from the factory. And I'm not really biased. I'm not here to say this is the best car. I like all sorts of cars. Um, I'm not one of those guys that uh, is, is biased on Corvettes because I actually would like to get a Viper as well. Um, so that should be fun if, that, if, if we make that happen here on the channel. Um, but I'm saying from, there's three elements of this. Um, you know, what you get for the money, the performance, and ultimately the drivability, believe it or not, for what this is arguably a supercar, supercar performance. It's a very drivable car. Um, you know, short of worrying from Dordings, it's pretty easy to drive this car everywhere. And uh, you just have to be cautious of low driveways, know how to navigate them and or avoid them. And uh, you're, you're good to go. So I love driving my C6 Z06. I love sharing it with you all. I would like to know uh, in the future what videos you would like to see on it because I think we can do plenty more. Um, I appreciate you taking the ride with me here. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. CR1 has fallen down to the $50,000 price level. There's not many out there at that level, but you know, some of the drivers are. Um, you know, I, I think that's the car that appeals to me more because I've had this car three years now. I've considered doing some modifications to it, but if I look at the whole list of modifications, closing in you know, really excess of $10,000, $15,000, and I'm gonna have darn near what I would have in a ZR1 if I do everything versus getting a ZR1. And, you know, the performance would be on par for sure, if not possibly quicker. Um, we'd have to really look closely at that at that point, but I would rather have the cost basis of a ZR1 at that point than having the money into this car. I'm not crazy about modding cars. It's not that I wouldn't do it, but you know, for me, it would be a, have to be a car I never plan on selling, and uh, I never really plan on selling this car, except for the fact that knowing a Jetstream Blue ZR1 exists, and, uh, you know, to me, that's the ultimate version of the C6 if money is no object, so that's the last thing I'd say about it, but, you know, that aside, I think this is a sweet car, and uh, if you're looking into the C6 Z06, um, and you love fast cars, I, I think, uh, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised and pretty happy with what you find when you get behind the wheel of one of these. But anyway, thank you for spending your time with me today watching. Um, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to continue on this journey with me. I'd love to share it with you if you hit that button and um, I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Look at the old Chevy.